What's up everyone and welcome to another video and in this video I will show you how you, you can install a Microsoft Disk Operating System also known as MS-DOS on VirtualBox. So uh, let, let, let's just create a new new, new uh, virtual machine and we'll just name it uh, DOS Tutorial. So here you can see a type thing. So if it doesn't change automatically, you can just choose select other and select DOS, and you can select next, and you can you can just use all of its uh, default default uh, settings because um, you know you, you you can do whatever you want basically. So you can just create it and start. However, um, yeah, let, let's let it just start a bit. Start take a bit of time because my computer's a potato right it's it's not a computer it's a laptop so it will say select the startup startup disk no uh, you just say say cancel so we'll be saying that something like uh, it will it will try to start this machine I'll set fatal no bootable medium found system halted which means that there is no operating system so now what you what you want to do is that you want you see there is this little uh, floppy disk uh, kind of icon down here and you can just so like choose a disk file and I'll put the disk files download in the description. So you will want to select disk one first. So dot ISO is uh is uh what would you call that? It's a CD is a virtual CD and dot IMG is a virtual floppy disk. So you want to choose disk one dot PN IMG first. You want to choose open and then reset the ma machine. Basically reset means restart. And it'll say starting MS DOS, and it'll boot into the MS DOS setup. So Microsoft MS DOS 6.22 setup. Welcome to setup. The setup program prepares MS DOS 6.22 to run on your computer. To set up MS DOS now, press Enter. To learn more about setup before continuing, press F1. To exit setup without installing MS DOS, press F3. So we can just to continue setup, press Enter. So we can just press Enter quickly, and and then it will say configure unallocated disk space you just want to choose that quickly and it'll setup will restart your computer now please make sure setup disk 1 is in drive A to continue press enter so there you go it will restart your computer and it will start to format drive C which is kind of quick because because compared to computer those days our computers are just like uh, super PCs right you see it's already like like 70% done yes that's how fast technology has changed through the years and it will say date or time as you can see right now is 5 12 p.m. Uh, 29 of uh, August 2021 so we can just choose that these settings are correct the country is the United States but but you can basically so this country is basically basically like uh, like the different kind of uh, languages so you can just ESC and keyboard layout the keyboard layout is really important because you, well, once you've set, set up MS-DOS you couldn't change your keyboard settings anymore so so mine is the US English US uh, thing so you can just click these settings are correct and press enter and you don't want to change the directory directory of where they installed DOS because that would be kind of dangerous so now as you can see it's installing DOS and once 25% of it is completed it will say please insert the following disk in drive A so it wants you to insert drive uh, disk 2 so you want to just insert disk 2 really quickly and press enter so you can just read through all of those really quick I've already read, read through all of those because you know and it'll say get disk 3 so you just put in disk 3 well, you know like this just really simple computer setup remove all disk from floppy drives like this and press enter MS-DOS setup complete MS-DOS 6.22 is now installed on your computer press enter starting MS-DOS HIM mem is testing extended memory and there you go you boot it into MS-DOS like we can just test a few of those uh, basic commands like dir, it works, cd, c, dos, as you can see it works, or dir slash p, 
yep everything works so that's it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching if it's really helpful uh please leave a like like on this video and i might do a tutorial on how to install windows 95 on on vir virtualbox because you know why not so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next week bye